Hi, welcome back to another episode of It's Whatever, right? I'm your host, Jen, and oh my god, you t- <laughs> this would have been like the perfect TikTok video. I am sitting here for like the past five minutes, okay, trying to restart this podcast, and I'm not really, I'm, I use GarageBand um, on my Mac. And I plugged everything in and I'm trying to record. I recorded like maybe about two minutes. Then I realized that the little sound bar where you can see like how high, like how loud you're talking is not green. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out why one, I can't hear myself in the headphones nor why doesn't it sound like there's sound. So spending five minutes trying to figure that out. Meanwhile, my mic was just off. (laughs) What a perfect fucking blonde moment. Wow. Okay. That kind of helps kind of jump into today's podcast. Um, As you read the title, I'm haunted, I think. Maybe. Or do I just, like, attract spirits? Um, I think I did, like, a similar podcast, um, as tonight, um, early on this year called, I think, Horror Stories or Scary Stories or something like that. Um, well, um, I think basically I just talked a little bit about ghosts maybe. Um, well, I believe that I am haunted, um, or attract ghosts for multiple different reasons. One, um, when I was a kid, um, we used to live in this house, um, Well, you would think I would live in a house, but anyways, where one night I had, I think I was maybe about eight and, um, I seen something move. Like, I'm in bed and I seen something move in the hallway. Um, this is the time where, you know, you still slept with the bathroom light on and you just see this gingerbread looking shadow peek into my room and then turn back out and then you just see like three like child size gingerbread men shaped ghosts shadow people run right into the bathroom across my bedroom door and it was like the most fucking creepiest thing um that's one ghost encounter the next ghost encounter was a couple of years later. Um, we moved, we moved houses, and um, we discuss, soon discovered that that house had a spirit. His name was Brian. Um, I believe that the ghost. Well, my parents moved out of that house about a year ago, and uh, in that house. We found out that his name was Brian, um, and was one of the original owners of the house. And, um, he would move stuff around, and, um, of course, we, at the beginning, we would, me and my brother would get blamed for it, but then after a while, we started noticing, as soon as you asked Brian to return said item, like your car keys or something, they would return. Um, but, like, one, I think, it was a couple of different creepy times that I had encountered the spirit. Um, when I was in, I think, maybe 19 or 20 or something, sitting on the couch, and my parents were out, and I'm watching TV, and you just see the shadow, like, you see, like, a person sitting in front like, standing in front of the front door, um, in this angle that I was sitting at, I was like, what the fuck, and then my dog, she starts whining and growling at the door, so, 
Uh, I panic and get up and go to the door and there's nobody there. I was like, what the fuck? The door is locked. So there's no way in hell that this person had was able to open up the door because there was visibly an actual person there. It was so fucking creepy. And um, the only way through the rest of the house was to go through the living room. But since I came from the living room, there was no way that this person could have ran upstairs and the door was locked. It was so fucking creepy. Um, there was a time before that, um, my brother's girlfriend, sometimes she would have slept over and, um, so I'm, it's like maybe like the middle of the night and the dog starts whining and I roll over to see why she's whining and there's literally like somebody sitting on the edge of my bed and I thought it was her. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? So I pushed her, but I don't remember actually physically touching anything. And, um, I turned the light on and it was gone. I was like, what the fuck? But there was like enough room between the dog and the bed for an actual person. So the next day I go to my brother and I was like, what the fuck? So, is there, like, a particular reason why your girlfriend came to my room last night? And he's like, um, she never came over. And I was like, what are you talking about? Yes, she did. Because she was sitting on the edge of my bed. And she, he goes, no. Um, yeah, girlfriend never actually came over last night. And I was like, what the fuck? Um, years later... Um, my friend and I played the Ouija board, A7 Ouija board. Okay, I'll actually pause that story for a second. Um, cause that is kind of entertaining. Maybe. Um, so after that story, um, with that house, there have been like a couple of like other incidents, um, where... I'm not even home, and my brother had, sometimes I go to my parents' bedroom and watch TV in their room, right? Like, just lay in bed, sit in bed, and watch on TV. Well, my brother spurs up and down that I had, like, I'm not even home. I think I'm, at, like, a, at work or something, and he's, like, the creepiest thing was that last night I had seen, I thought I'd seen you walk from your room to mom and dad's room and I was like what the fuck how I wasn't even home and he's like I know but I only realized that after because he was playing video games or something when the shadow walked past again but then it was like kind of weird because it looked like they were walking like where the stairs are like like walk levitating above the stairs I was like, what the fuck? That's so fucking creepy. So, um, and then I moved out of my parents' house and moved into this, the house before I was in now. Um, and there's a goat, I think the, there was some sort of spirit in the upstairs attic and, um, one night I was home alone, of course. I think it was like maybe um literally a month before I moved out. I'm in bed home alone and you just see like the shadow of a like a really really large man um standing in front of my bedroom. But the thing is you never like heard him come down the stairs and you wouldn't even notice he was there unless you looked up. But then like as soon as like you blinked he was gone. I was like, really? But like, that was really the only encounter at that address. Um, and then now at my current address, um, so back to the Ouija, um, board story. This may be like a really, really short podcast of just pretty much every ghost encounter that I have came across. I think there's probably more, but I'm literally going at the top of my head. Um, at this address, so my friend and I were playing the Ouija board and my great grandma came 
through. And what, well, when you play the Ouija board, you have to be kind of cautious because, um, oh, that's something you believe in. But you kind of have to be like a little cautious with the Ouija board because you may think that you are playing with one spirit that you want, let's say like my great grandma. You think that you're speaking to her, but she may be there and the other spirits, there might be like a bad spirit there as well, manipulating her, like her spirit and coming through for her. Um, and when you talk to your said spirit, it like, yeah, it's so fucked up. But anyway, so what I think was my grandma through the Ouija board and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah that was actually I'm like, so this happened. I thought it was like my brother's girlfriend. My grandma was like, no, no, that was me. Um, and I was like, whoa, that's fucking creepy. Um, then we started talking to this. So he, she left and, um, we started talking to this spirit. Um, it left. I we think like that spirit we said goodbye and the spirit had ended the conversation. Um, so when you're done playing with the Ouija board, you want to end the game by saying goodbye. Well, we were talking to him and he said goodbye. And we also ended on our end saying goodbye. But then months later, I decided to play the Ouija board on by myself. And then literally like two nights later, all of a sudden, um, I now have a ghost in my apartment and I think I may not have closed it the last time properly. So now my current apartment has a ghost, but he's kind of, he's not really douchey. I think he just comes and hangs out, um, like comes and chills and that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, I say this because like you see, you might be sitting on the couch and you just like see this a random shadow go by. Um, or like you just have this feeling like there's something in the room with you, but you don't see anything. So yeah, that's why I think I'm haunted. Um, because it always feels like no matter which address I'm living at, there's always some sort of spirit. I don't think any of them were like bad or evil spirits. I think they were just kind of like mischief, um, wanting to like play. I mean, when you're dead, I guess, and your spirit is stuck here on earth just another plane. I don't think you have like anything better to do than kind of like fuck with people. You know what I mean? Not like harm you, but I think like they have nothing better to do than just play pranks on people, like move their car keys or something, or sometimes slightly scare them by shaking their bed. But I don't think like all spirits are like terrible, right? No. Mm. Maybe. Well, with the encounters um, with ghosts and spirits and talking to the dead that I've had, um, I actually don't mind being haunted. I mean, if it was any worse, I mean, like the spirits were kind of being douchey and being obnoxious and having a poltergeist, I think then it might be a problem or the house itself does not want me there. I think that would be like a huge major problem. But this ghost is kind of like a cat. Does that make sense? Where the ghost will make it known that it's there won't do anything, won't bother you, but we'll come hang out when it, like, when it feels like it wants to be around kind of thing, which I completely don't mind. Um, but that's kind of like 
all the ghost stories I have for you tonight, so it's not going to be like a long podcast. Um, so if you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you are listening to this on YouTube, feel free to uh, comment down below on today's topic. And if you have any topics that you want to talk about or hear about in the future, feel free to comment down below. Um, and if you would so kind, if you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to share it with your people or don't. It's whatever, right? Um, until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye!